Let's jump to the ball here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation playing as the Disciples of Hashut going up against two armies of the Ice Court. So, this is one of those situations where some people would probably decide not to control large armies, but I actually think we should control large armies, and it's just a matter of picking the right spot to defend. Another thing here is that this Sorcerer Prophet of Hashut, I think we should switch him out for one of Metal. And that's all the adjustment I think we need to make, apart from maybe popping down some items, because there's some good stuff in here. Crown of Skulls will be useful, and I don't think Astrogoth needs it over this particular turn. And there's a couple of other things here that we can pop down. That's all we need to do to prepare. It's on large unit scale, which actually might help us in this situation here, because otherwise, um, if you're on ultra unit scale, this sort of maps can get a bit cramped, so that'll help a little bit with cramping. But yeah, he said he tried the battle bat four or five times and uh, just couldn't overcome it. Now this map here, I think there's a lot of really good defensive positions. But you've got to know where they are. And I think he tried to hold the de uh, defensive position up the top. If we have a look at this. I think he tried to hold this position up here. Which is sort of what you're led to believe is the best position. Because that's where the main one is. But I actually think it's a bit of a trap. Because you can kind of get surrounded... And line of sight issues can occur. Whereas if you use this position here, you've got four tower positions that you can make use of, where this one only has one. And the line of sight for your units is actually significantly better. Alright, let's jump in and see how we go. We definitely want to control large army here, because if we don't, then these guys here, when they come in as reinforcements, they show up from like one of the edges. They just never show up in time, so I need them at the start. Also, another thing that I've noticed is that if you don't control large army, the enemy forces, the main, the beginning one, will attack right away. Whereas if you give them some time to wait for their reinforcements, they'll sit there and wait and not cap these points, giving us some time to get some supplies. So we might have two towers ready to go by the time they decide to attack us. But the longer the battle goes on, the better it is for us. Which is normally where not controlling large armies actually extends the length of the battle. So they're getting set up over there. Well, I'm going to get set up over here. Alright. Yeah, you can see how cramped it's possibly going to get. Alright, let's get organized a little bit. Alright, these guys here. The cavalry, their main use will be to just recap positions and uh, pick off stragglers. You can't expect them to you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with armored units that can fire back at them with longer range. They're just not going to be able to do any serious damage. Seeing how we organize this. Yep, that should do it. I reckon most of their forces are probably going to come down this way, so we want to make sure the bank mechanics are ready to go. But if they go in a different direction, then that's fine, I'll be ready for that. Also, we should have a tower set up over here, just a basic one? No, maybe I'll put down an explosive tower at the start. How, what's the range? Yeah, an explosive tower at the start. I fully expect this one to get destroyed, but since they're going to stay there and wait for a minute 34, I think... We can actually get quite a few good shots in. Is there any other towers in range? Don't think so. I'll reorganize as the battle progresses. But let's just get things kind of organized and get started. And just see how things play out. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I can't... Oh, hang on. Yeah. I can't tell it what to do. Because <laughs> I... Restrict camera. Uh, could you guys get over there? I don't know if we're actually killing anything. I can see the shots coming in, but... 
Can't tell it what to shoot at. That was my mistake there. Forgot about restrict camera. God, that could be frustrating. I can't click on my own damn tower. Because I want to tell it specifically to shoot into the middle there. We're definitely getting some kills at the start here. But they're not very accurate. Okay. Yeah, let these guys be my eyes in this area here. Every kill that we can get here is basically just bonus. But we want to try to make sure we're shooting into a cluster because they've got area of effect attacks. Also, an interesting thing to note is that the amount of damage that these towers do does not scale with the unit scale. So if you are playing on small unit scales, defensive sieges are easier for the defender. Since their damage output is not uh, adjusted. Okay, we can get another tower going. Let's go over here because this is probably where they're going to be showing up first. Okay, we could probably demolish this soon and try to get back some of our resources. You know, we got, got a few kills with it. That's good. Nothing spectacular, but they're going to cap this point pretty soon. Uh, no barricade I could put there to try to slow them down. I'm just going to try to time it so I can get as much out of it as possible. Because, yeah, it's not going to fire well up here. Okay, careful. We don't want to fight them. Let's get back. Alright, get rid of it now. So, I think that takes, yeah, 45 seconds to get rid of it. Mm, I'm not sure if we're going to get those resources back. It largely, largely depends on how much they stuff around. We I mean, don't get all the resources back anyway. Mm, no, they're stuffing around. Can't see how much time is left on it. If we get into a huge influx of supplies, then we know that it actually worked. Having a barricade here could be really handy for replenishing our ammunition. We don't need to do it right now. There we go. We, it actually worked. Cool. Cool. And let's get this one going here. Alright. I'm going to need you to go wide around over this way. To recap these positions after uh, after they've moved on from it. Right now, 130 range on the hobgoblin archers is a bit of an issue when fighting against cossars from Kislev. The armored cossars will have shorter range, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, they've got shorter range, but the regular cossars, of which there's not that many of them, they've got significantly more range, and of course the blunderbusses. They don't have as much range either. So, metal magic, I think, will really help against them. Okay, go wide around here. Team control group three. Now, these guys here, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to restore ammunition. Hell cannon crew can. Okay. Okay, just just chill there.
Yeah, don't. We're not going to head at them. So wasting ammunition on them doesn't make any sense right now. Just let the towers sort that out. And they're doing a decent amount of damage. Anyone that comes down here will shred them. Actually, put the blunderbusses. Actually, no, no, you get up here. Need you to hold the back. Okay, this one's range 154. What's going on here? Oh, Death Frost? Okay, that was a huge waste of magic on that. Move up quick. I thought I'd put these guys on. Not on fire at will. My mistake. How are we going over here? Yeah, just, just stay back and just. Just don't do anything there. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Move back. Good, took him out without too much damage. That's good. Get rid of this horse archer unit. Alright, we've got a bunch of units coming around over this way. Shouldn't be a problem to handle them. That is just ice sheet. That's only slowing us down. That's okay. Yep, and we can bomb it. They shouldn't dodge us. Oh, there's Katarin. Okay, I'm a little bit cramped, actually. Okay, we got incoming over here. Okay, these guys here will be able to outrange them. Alright, I need another tower. Where should we put that? Over here? Yep, let's do that. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we got this area here protected. It looks like they want to come at us in waves, which is exactly what we want. Wait until they stand still before we start bombing them. This is fine. As long as we hold on to one position, we should be fine. Alright. Yep, that's good. Just aim for the fresh ones. They come in here, they pretty much break straight away. That's good. This guy here, because he's got the Crown of Skulls, get him into melee so they can start regenerating a bit. I think I may have done some friendly fire there a little bit. Good. The, um, the Magma Cannons are doing a great job for us here. Yeah, just, just chill for now. Just chill. If they're starting to shoot, we want to bomb that. Alright, this guy's actually starting to take a bit too much damage. I'm going to pull him back. They're not getting in through here. Not with melee cavalry of that caliber. No chance. Alright, let's bring in some orc laborers to try to hold them back a little bit. It's on very hard battle difficulty, isn't it? It's unbreakable. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, kind of funny that they're just shooting at him. I think they've changed the AI to actually try to prioritize high value lords. But look at that choke point that's coming in here. These guys here are slaughtering them. I need to get this going. I'm gonna need some more ammo soon. Alright, you guys come around. They come up front. Let's start. Yeah, we need to obliterate them real soon. Okay, hold that back. They're not getting through here. Oh my god. We are just absolutely slaughtering them. <laughs> okay, you guys here may fire at will. I'm trying to friendly fire our lord, but you know, do what you gotta do. Oh, this choke point is disgusting. <laughs> He's getting a little bit of regen while he's in melee. And this is why I wanted metal magic. Yeah, like I said, they're not getting through here. Not going to happen. Not with those cavalry. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I do not regret this defensive position at all. This is great. But Legend, you have the low ground. Thing is, it doesn't really matter that much if we're losing a little bit of missile strength as long as our line of sight is good, which it is. I 
The guys over here are fine. Okay, how are we going over here? Ready to bring some of them back? They keep using ice sheet here like that does anything. Alright, let's start restoring some ammo. sure if they're going to shoot at us with units that we can't quite reach them that they're shooting in trash so that they're um they're not uh, they're not really gaining much bounce of power from it okay get them to stop now because that's more or less sorted all right i need to bring the archers over here so probably not going to be able to shoot up there so instead let's try to move back from here Wait. Back. Yeah, they're still trying to shoot our lord. Alright, let's get the blunderbusses over here now because Katarin's coming in and we want to fill her full of lead. You keep this one up here so they don't shoot the blunderbusses. Okay, you shoot at this. Hope she doesn't use Death Frost on him. That wouldn't be very nice for us. We've only got this one position now, so we absolutely have to make sure we hold on to it. Now, see, even though they're getting a damage buff, see, having 30% extra damage doesn't really matter if a lot of the shots actually end up missing. Which, some of the shots are actually hitting. Oh, we've got to get them in close. Aim for Katarin. Some of them over here. Okay, here we go. Aim for Katarin. Good. She is getting wrecked. You, what the hell are you doing? Get out of the way there. Okay, actually, we're getting a bit overrun here. I need more guys. Good. Katarin is down. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Good stuff. Okay, way too blobs there, it's not good. Alright, go and cap us a point, just in case. Just in case we make a mistake. And end up losing that cap uh, position. Alright, that's not good, move them back. Okay. Move them back. Oh, it doesn't matter, we army lost them, we won. We absolutely slaughtered them. That's really early army losses here. Now, it would be really good if we could kill this lord, because he's quite close to immortality. It would be good if he doesn't get that chance. But it's a bit of a scramble here at the moment. That one's going to get away. Okay, where are these archers? Get over here. Come on. Shoot him. Oh, I know. 
if these could come over here, they might actually be able to get him. Don't care if there's friendly fire, kill this dude. You really don't want this guy getting immortality. Just keep him pinned down. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a scramble, but got a mix of pinning him down and trying to shoot him. But the thing is, the more we pin him down, the less we can shoot him. Yeah, just... No, no, don't you guys shoot just yet. Yeah, the towers did well. Everything just went really well in this battle, I think. You know, a bit of damage. Probably end up being close victory, but... No units got wiped out, I think. And I really don't think I needed any of those items. Come on. I don't care about friendly fire. Shoot him. Ooh, it's working. It's okay, that can't give us friendly fire. If you get in there, you'll actually regenerate a little bit of health. But yeah, the amazing difference that a, a good defensive position can make over a sort of a mediocre one. And I, I get that over here it may seem like that's the better defensive position. But, my god, even though they had the high ground, it, it meant nothing. Good, he's getting regenerated. There we go. So close to immortality. And the army itself doesn't take too much damage. It should be pretty easy to mop up the remnants, especially in this army here. But we did inflict a fair... Oh no, there's barely anything remaining in both armies. Because yeah, you definitely want to make sure that that one dies as well. Because she's six levels away from immortality. Obviously, Katarin's immortal, so she's just not going to get experience from that battle, and she's going to be out of commission for a couple of turns. But yeah, the Magma Cannons, they were actually the key to this. I, I thought that the, um, the Blunderbusses were going to be doing a great job, and they did, they did do a great job, but the Magma Cannons just absolutely slaughtered them as they came down here. Jeez, only one of those units got away. God, I, I didn't realize I had, had obliterated them that much. And you might say, but she was on Force March, she'll get wiped out. Now, this is a weird thing that happens in Warhammer 3, where is if, if you're in Force March, but you're the attacker, and you lose, see, there it is, um, you don't get wiped out, necessarily. Let's get through the rest of this turn. I don't think there's any too many too many issues. He hasn't really captured a whole lot of territory, but that doesn't really matter. It's up to him how far he wants to expand. You can see he's made a few convoy trips out this way. Alright, my recommendation would be to take out this one here, finish her off before she gets her immortality. Because she could run off, go get those six levels somewhere else, and then come back and always be a pain. And I switched yep, our army's in good shape there. And the Metal Wizard's definitely significantly better at, at that earlier stage. Because he got quite a few kills with Searing Doom uh, than the uh, Lore of Hashut Doom did. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for sending this in. And we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.